so hi folks a very good morning to all the viewers who are watching my video at present i am from the team of miss nis land with integrity so in this video analysis we will be discussing about five steps to secure your critical asset from cyber attacks so what are the different uh, steps which we should have to implement in our system such that none of the user get the access privilege okay so let us begin the session so before that i just want to confirm you all if you are new to this channel please subscribe the channel like the channel share the channel as soon as possible for the latest update on science and technology as well as security too okay so let us begin the session regarding uh, what actually uh, the attacks are and how actually we can get a privileged assist to that so so here here we can see uh, why organization must focus on critical asset protection so why it is usually needed okay so why must why, uh, what are the, what are the uh, keynote point which should be uh, given by an organization to their employees to their employers or or, or or to the organization itself to make themselves protected from different attacks okay the increasing global digitalization is one of the main reason behind that okay especially in the corporate world has created huge security challenges for businesses definitely while universal understood and aspect accepts that the business must also learn to prioritize their focus when devising security strategies okay so when devising their security strategies and digitalization or global digitalization which usually makes them implement these uh, protection criteria into their organization okay as we also know the criminal okay criminal hackers always design their attacks with preparation focused on weakly yet critical areas okay which usually aims to achieve maximum impact with minimal effort and resistance okay so which therefore businesses okay must develop their security plans okay with a red team approach okay definitely we can say with a red team approach they must and should have to approach the uh the the strategies or or the critical assets by focusing a focusing the areas where it need to be uh re refunctioned or restructured okay so focused more on critical sensitive areas okay in the in the entire it infrastructure we can even say okay so it usually undoubtedly security strategies must clear surpass the average industry standard for digital security definitely it is also important okay so we must be industry ready we can even say in shortcut okay so then after we'll be discussing about the uh, key steps to protect your systems okay so what are the key steps which need to be implemented okay in your systems or in your critical assets we can even say like servers or uh, like our pcs which have lot of information regarding the organization's data okay 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 so those all things will be discussing in details so identify the critical uh, we can say actual critical asset and related security risk okay what and how to identify that so we know that the first step towards critical asset protection is identifying key areas okay where that usually requires attention for example let us trade that okay so uh, if 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 uh, if we suffer from any diseases okay the foremost point we must and should have to uh, do is to take the medicines based upon in which area we are suffering like headache like throat pain like like uh, some of uh, like like some of the pains which usually occurs in our legs hands okay so based upon that the remediation is been given by the practitioner or medical practitioner okay so in the similar fashion where we are lagging where the disease occurs in our system that a disease should be protected through medicals okay that not medicals through uh, through through protection agencies through asset protection we can say that okay so for instance an organization okay serving in the public such as e-commerce platform okay here i also give an example uh, must invent protect to its customer data and payment method okay and uh, it service provider must secure their client data as well as it component associated with the service offered okay so that is how it is been offered okay so then after general organization must try or should try finding the answer to the following questions to identify the critical assets what are the different questions which usually comes so what will be the subsequent effect if the asset under consideration faces cyber attack 
uh, will the potential attack or will the potential cyber attack against that asset affect the workforce the data the operation or all the all of them okay and the third thing is is the specific component critical to the frame okay for the for the frame primary mission so then after for long term impact will the possible cyber attack induce on the frame financial reputational and uh, operational of all okay so those are the things which must and should have to be remembered okay then after after identifying the key uh, areas where the uh, is been affected where the device is been affected okay for example i have given e-commerce they also uh, said about okay so after that what the key areas okay which should be determining the subsequent cyber threat okay so usually organizational asset are uh, vulnerable we can even know that so and one or more of the following threat okay what one of the more of the following threat one is operational damages financial losses data theft okay so then after uh, physical theft of it equipments physical harm to the staff and uh, or the equipment okay epochnage okay so those are things which need to be uh, keep in mind okay so uh, which of the following cyber threat risk critical asset of the business the it team must may identify those uh, threat by answering the following questions okay so by answering these questions they will successfully uh, make the uh, attack impossible okay what are the likely vulnerability in those assets and the second most thing is which insider outsider user can assist the critical assets okay what will be the outcome of limiting user assist to the asset okay and the, th and the fourth is how will a protection cyber attack benefit or insider and the fifth is what benefit would be would, would an outsider achieve okay by compromising the assets and finally what intent security phases are exist that intervent increasingly increase the likelihood okay likelihood of cyber threat okay so these are the things which must be answered by the analyst okay and the second most thing is implement a zero trust approach what is zero trust approach so before discussing about zero trust approach let us give a simple example to make you understand what is what actually it is so implementing zero trust means trusting only specific user okay so here what is given specific user should be trusted or the devices have access to critical assets such steps are vital to isolate critical it components and protect them from the unnecessary intrusion okay so zero trust is the most strategic or straightforward security principle that helps in mitigating the cyber risk okay so securing only one user or trusted user that is what about zero trust policy or approach and third is set up eight grab system what is set up eight grab system so what is uh, it is just similar to zero trust security model okay setting up eight gap system is to prevent common online cyber threat okay so when a system is disconnected from internet it is far more more likely to be safe from malware definitely so uh, different kinds of malware ransomware and some of the dangerous uh, we can say that uh, viruses which usually get installed with 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 the connection with internet so whenever it is disconnected it is usually uh, free from that so such air gap system are even more effective when set up with a zero trust approach that is all about what set up air gap system and the fourth one and fifth one for you it is all about ensure adequate physical security and implement basic account safety practice so here it is uh, all about the protection critical hardware system software system physical assets okay so while most critical assets are what in placed in a dedicated data centers okay so some sensitive components may also be located in office for egs okay such inconvenience should uh, never compromise security okay for which the business uh, get affected okay like biometric security those all things okay so then after implement basic account safety practice is just about uh, regardless of the how secure your it frame is okay the entire security efforts goes to win if the if staffs fails to implement basic security practice okay so you have all the resources to study but if you do not study that if you do not read the book then how will you get passed in your examination that's simple right unless and until we have all the security principles if the staff is not practicing that then it should be 
restrict it's, it, it should be noted it should be noticed okay so when something unusual is going on definitely it should be noted that is all about what implement basic account safety practices okay so i hope you have enjoyed the session so i hope uh, it should not be long lasting and uh, let me end the video itself for you i hope you have enjoyed the session